Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan from Hall Outs I Love. Today we're going to show you the Seiko Zelsis One Touch Super Automatic Espresso Machine. Before we get started, I just want to encourage everyone to leave us your comments on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. We check it daily and we would love to hear from you. Let us know what videos you want to see and what questions you might have. And you can also give us a call. We've got a bunch of espresso experts here, very friendly and ready to help you with any questions you might have. Yep. Now let's talk about the Seiko Zelsis machine. Mark, why did you put so many glasses on the table? Well, you can count, can't you? Of course I can. <laughs> well, how many are there? There's seven glasses. Well, that's because on the Zelsis, there's seven one-touch buttons, which means one touch for an espresso all the way up to a cappuccino or a latte. Clever. When we say one-touch machine, we're talking about pressing a single button to get you your latte or your cappuccino or your coffee. It's going to froth the milk for you and pour your espresso at the same time with a single touch of a button. It's great. I mean, that, that's right. You just put a cup under and press one button and you're done. Yeah. Now let's talk about the coffee system, Mark. There is a 12 and a half ounce bean hopper in this machine. Which is larger than most machines we look at, so you're not going to have to fill it quite as often. Mm -hmm. It comes with an airtight seal on the lid, so that's going to keep your coffee beans really fresh. And we like fresh beans for great coffee. Mm -hmm. There's a ceramic burr grinder, and ceramic burr grinders are found on the higher end espresso machines. And we like the ceramic burrs because it doesn't heat up the coffee quite as much when it grinds, so it keeps more flavor in the coffee. Right. And there is eight grind settings. And with the grind settings, you're going to use finer grinds for your espressos, get your crema that we're always looking for, and coarser grinds for longer coffees or darker beans. Yeah. It also comes with a bypass doser, which you can use for your pre-ground coffee if someone wants a decaf. Right, and you'd access that. There's a button on the front with the little beans. Uh, you tell the machine you're going to use a bypass doser there. Um, that's also that button. You'd use that to temporarily increase the strength of your coffee, have the grinder run just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Another feature of this machine is the flow restrictor dial. That's going to allow you to adjust the crema and flavor of your coffee. Yeah, it's just another way to dial in your coffee a little bit more. Uh, you go to the larger dots if you're doing espresso, restricts the flow a little bit, gives you more of an extraction. Uh, go towards the smaller dots, the water flows through a little bit more freely. You'd use that for your regular coffees. The milk system on the Zelsis features a milk carafe for automatic frothing, as well as a steam wand if you want to manually froth your milk. Yeah, it's got the 17 and a half ounce milk carafe, holds quite a bit. Pull that out of the fridge, snap it onto the machine, you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, it does do that automatic cleaning. Yep, every time you make a milk-based drink, when you snap the handle back in place, it's going to run a cleaning cycle, keeps itself really clean. Just note that it is not dishwasher safe, so you're going to want to take it apart and give it a deep clean every once in a while. Yeah, and I like the way that it deposits the stuff that it cleans out when it does that self-clean right into the drip tray mm -hmm. so there's not a lot of mess. That's right. The Zelsus has a 54 ounce water tank and does come with a Mavia Intenza water filter. One thing about the tank, there's no indication on the outside as to how much water is in it, but the machine will alert you when it's time to refill. That's right, Mark. And also just keep in mind that you're going to need 23 inches of clearance in order to remove that water tank, but you can also fill it at the machine. The spout on the Zelsus is really nice. I mean, it's part of it that comes out, it allows you to uh, fit the travel mug under there. Some of us just really need that big cup of coffee in the morning. I know I do. Right. And then down on the drip tray, uh, this machine actually has two drip trays. So you've got uh, one outside the machine. Uh, I like the top on that that's held down by the magnets. And then we open the door held by the massive hinges. Inside you'll find the internal drip tray as well as the dredge drawer. Now the machine's going to alert you about every 14 cycles to clean those two. And you're going to want to make sure that you do because the drip tray is pretty small inside. Yeah, it's not the biggest, but it holds quite a bit. Um, also in there is the brew group. Um, that is a removable brew group, and it's recommended that you just take that out every week or two, depending on how much you use it, and run that just under some tap water. There's two programming methods on the Zelsis. The first is the press and hold method. So you're just going to press your drink button for three seconds. When you have the desired volume, you just press it again, and it'll be programmed for you. Of course you choose that, because it's like the easy way. You call me lazy? Uh, no, a visual person, maybe? Uh, okay. He can see what's happening? I don't know. Well, I might be a little bit more detail-oriented, so I use the menus. So you'd go into the beverage menus and the settings that you can affect there. You can do coffee amount, pre-brewing time, temperature, coffee length, and like milk length if that's applicable to the drink. Um, so you'd set those all up and then it's programmed. And of course you could do that for six different users. So you could have actually six different styles of cappuccino programmed into the machine. 
A unique feature to the Zelsis is the way it brews an American coffee. Why don't you tell us about it, Mark? Yeah, you don't see, I mean, I don't think I've ever really seen American coffee listed on a, on a machine before. And what the Zelsis does is really rather unique. It'll grind the coffee and then it pulse brews it. So rather than just continuously pushing water through the coffee, it's gonna push some through and then rest, and then push some more through and rest. If you're doing a really big cup of coffee, like into the travel mug that will fit under the spout, um, it's actually gonna grind a second time. So it's gonna maintain that strength through the entire brewing process and not do an over extraction. So Morgan, what time do you get up in the morning? Usually around seven, but depends on how many espresso martinis I've had the night before. So if you were a bad girl a little later? Yeah, guilty. Yeah, okay, all kidding aside, um, this is a thermal block machine. Mm -hmm. So from off, from completely off to ready to brew, usually about a minute. But you can set it uh, to turn on. In fact, you can set three different turn on times, mm -hmm. which I really like. So if you get down in the kitchen, you want it to brew immediately, you hit a button, it'll be, it can be ready. So for me, I do about six. For me, seven. Some other functions of the Zelsis are the automatic shutoff timer. You can set that anywhere between 15 minutes and three hours. Yeah, nice. So that, you know, you walk away from the machine, you know it's going to automatically shut off. Um, it also has a drink counter, which Morgan wishes she had last night. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, and through the maintenance menus, it will alert you when it's time to descale and perform any other maintenance required on the machine. It's ideal for any household with multiple coffee drinkers because you can program up to six users in the home. That's right, we played around with the programming some. We both took an icon. I was the... You were the star. And you were the shamrock. That's right, because I'm Irish. Yes, you are. And that's the Seiko Zelsis. Don't forget, we'd love to hear from you, so please leave us your comments and questions. And oh, you can give us a call. We have a bunch of friendly espresso experts ready to help you out with any questions you might have. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Whole Latte Love is your source for expert coffee information with more than 200 videos including how-tos, recipes, machine comparisons, maintenance and more. Join us on Facebook for more expert advice and coffee lovers fun.